Hello everyone, welcome back to the Apple Connect and in this video we're going to talk about how to downgrade from iOS 18 to 17. So right now this particular device is actually right now this is on iOS 18. If you check over here you can see the device is right now on the iOS 18. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can successfully downgrade this. And you have to make sure one thing before getting to the further procedure, you should be logged out from your Apple, uh, I mean your iCloud. This is very important, you have to log out from your uh, from the iCloud. And once you log out, you have to follow the instruction. So you can use both system, which means you can use your laptop and make sure you can either use depends on Windows or you can use Mac and just make sure the iTunes is installed on both. Without iTunes, you cannot proceed further on the laptop or system. So just make sure iTunes is installed. If the iTunes is installed, let's move to the workaround. So guys, right now what you need to do is just go over here in the Google Chrome and you have to search for this site named ipsw.me. So that will make you to land on this kind of a page. And right now, from here, you have to select the device. So we are downgrading the iPhone, so tap on the iPhone. And once afterwards, you have to select the model. So which using the right uh, the device which I'm using the model is iPhone 10s Max. So I have to select the resp respective one and just close the ad. And once afterwards, you tap on the iPhone 10x Max, you'll be getting a file like this, which is iOS 17.5.1. So just tap on this one. So this is around 7.8 GB. So you have to download this. So we have already downloaded the file. So uh, just skip this part if it already downloaded. So you have to download, wait for this one. And once afterwards, just follow like this. Just open your iTunes over here. And once iTunes is open, you have to connect your device. So make sure while connecting, it should be proper. So just connect it properly and just connect like this. Okay. And once the I iPhone is connected to the iTunes, you'll be asking some questions like you know they get to ask you for trust the process but here for the device i've already granted the permission so that's not why it is not asking the users who are watching this who is doing for the first time they can ask you this question so you have to unlock your iphone first and once afterwards you're going to get the question like the trust the process so go for trust and also apple recommend you have you should be having a charge around 80 percentage above so try to make sure that you're having a charge above 80 percentage so once after it is done, you have to follow the next instruction over here in the screen. So what you need to do is just tap on the iPhone over here. Tap on it. Okay. Now you have to make sure one thing before getting to the process, you have to do a complete backup because or else you'll be losing all the data on your respective iPhone. So just click on the backup now. So it is going to take a lot of time. So it will be uh, completely taking out a complete backup on your iPhone. So once the backup is successfully done, what you need to do is you just need to follow the next instruction that you have to go for restore iPhone. So before hitting on the restore iPhone, you have to make sure a very important thing that you have to press shift button on the keyboard. You have to press and hold shift button and click on the restore iPhone. So don't forget this one. This is very important. You have to press and hold the shift and click on the restore. And right now you have to, you have to select the uh, file which we downloaded from the uh, site. So just select this respective file and you have to go for this one. They can ask you the question, go for restore, which is on 17.5.1. So just go for restore. So once the restore process is completely done, I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
So guys, we'll be getting a message like this. Now we have two options set up as a new iPhone or you can go for restore from this backup. So hence, I have already backed up. I have two options because I have very recently backed up. Two, two backup files are there. So it is showing me this kind of thing. So most probably the user, so watching this, you will be having one backup. So you can select the respective backup from this. Select the latest backup. Okay, that is very important. You have to select the latest backup. And once the backup is done, just go for continue. But hence, over here, I'm not doing this for the purpose of the video. Or uh, if you're not wanted to restore the backup, you can go for setup as a new iPhone. That is also fine. So hence, for the video purpose, I'm going for setup as a new iPhone. And you can go for continue. And you can set up your iPhone. And right now, as you can see, bingo, if you go over here in the settings and navigate the software update, you can see it has been downgraded successfully from iOS 18 to 17.5.1. So this is how you can do this and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.